Hello, I'm Mac Original. Welcome to my next City Skylines tutorial. In a recent Reddit post, a lot of people were asking how I make my game look so realistic. And I figured, why not make a video about it? As always, the mods are linked in the description. Alright, so before we have a look at the mods, let's have a look first at my graphic settings. Widescreen, 1080p, full screen, color correction overwrite. You don't really need to set that. The relight neutral is coming from another mod we will take a look soon, so just ignore that for now. Depth of field is disabled because I personally don't like it, but again, that's up to you if you like it or not. Same with the film grain amount, I don't like it, so I disable it. And my PC is not the best one, so I don't have it all maxed out here. You can adapt to whatever your PC has performance to. Now to our first mod, Daylight Classic. I like to keep all these options on and what it does is it gives you some classic light effects before that was changed with I think after dark? I'm, I'm not sure on that, but yeah, generally it gives you nicer lighting. But again, up to you what you prefer. Just play around with it and see what's best for you. Then we come to relight. We open the in-game menu with shift, alt and L. It's a little bit hard to see here, but what it does, it gives you options for tone mapping and for lighting. It also smoothens out the shadows. See when I disable it, everything gets a little bit more edgy. It also adds color correction LUTs to the game. And I recommend also installing the more relight LUTs. But we will get to that when we come to another mod. Next up, Shadow Strength Adjuster, which again has no in-game UI but gives you this option where you can change the strength of the shadow on this bar. I like it to be quite high up so we have a nice contrast with the shadows and light. Always nice on screenshots. Then there is Clouds and Fog Toggler which gives us the options to disable clouds, industrial smog, distance fog and edge fog. Then there is no radioactive desert and more, which I use to disable no orange dead trees at shoreline or shoreline ground color, no orange dead trees in polluted areas, no polluted area ground color. I leave the fertile area, ore area, oil area, forest area and burnt area ground color on. Because most of that I like to use to texture my ground. As you can see in the background where we have all that sand and diverse texture on the ground where the forest is. Now we get to the probably most important mod, the mixer. I don't know where exactly that button is when you install it new, but you can hold it with the right mouse button and move it around wherever you want. It gives us a lot of different options. Like we can select the theme on the fly. I'm using the SCT Nature Reserve T, which is also included in the collection down linked in the description. Besides that. We can change all the terrain stuff, uh, terrain textures, even correct them by RGB values and decide if we want to uh, switch the grass sprites, fertile sprites and rock sprites on. I prefer to keep them off. I like the look of my grass texture better. And we also can change the water texture road textures, building base textures, all that stuff. And some settings for the atmosphere. Like 
like the light exposure of the sun, moon size, sun size, all that. Just play around with it and you see what it does. Then we get to the weather. So a lot of weather options. Then we come to the color corrections. I'm using Relight Neutral, but there are many more to choose from. As I said earlier, Relight Extra, LUTs, then Relight itself brings a lot of here LUTs and there are the vanilla ones. So it makes a big difference, probably the largest impact on how your game looks. And a general section where you can select your mix or save your own mix to play around with different settings so you never lose your, your settings. And the last mod, Ultimate Eye Candy. I don't think you need that mod anymore, but I kinda. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it to set my daytime and the weather with it, so. I, I don't think you really need it anymore, but it's nice to have. It also lets you change the LUT and the weather, but I already showed you in the mixer. You can set it there as well. And it also gives you a way to save your presets, which is not really needed since you can save it all in the mixer. And of course, there are more mods that make your game look even better like dynamic resolution or cube map replacer. It all depends on how much your PC can handle. Mine can't handle that much, so this is as good as it gets for me. All mods are linked in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was of help. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, like and share with your friends. Feel free to put any feedback, questions and requests for future tutorials in the comments. I also stream quite often over on Twitch, in case you wanna watch me build live and say hello. If Twitch is not your thing, all streams are uploaded to my stream archive channel. You're also welcome to join our Discord community server full of lovely people where you can share your builds. I always love to see what you guys come up with. All links can be found in the description. I hope I see you next video or stream. Until then, have a great day. Bye bye.